Welcome. My name is Kim Neuberger, and I'm here to help you through your chapter test prep for chapter 4 in your elementary algebra text. Determine which of the following is a solution to the system of linear equations or inequalities. In this particular one, we have two linear equations, and this point, negative 1, 2. To see if this is a solution, we need to plug it into both equations to see if it works. If it works in both of them, then it is a solution. If it doesn't work in one of them, then it's not. So let's take and replace the x and the y here with the negative 1 and 2. So we have 3 times negative 1 minus 2 equaling negative 5. That gives us negative 3 minus 2 equaling negative 5, or negative 5 equals negative 5. This point works in the first equation. Let's check the second one. We will replace the y with 2 and the x with negative 1. That gives us 2 equaling 2 thirds times negative 1 minus 2, which is 2 equals negative 2 thirds minus 2. Well, this is going to end up being negative 8 thirds, which is not equal to 2. So we would say, no, this is not a solution to that system. For part B, let's check negative 9, negative 8. We'll use our first equation up here first, replacing the x with negative 9, so we get 3 times negative 9. Minus, and now we'll replace the y with negative 8. We want to know if that equals negative 5. When we multiply this, we get negative 27. The double negative here is a positive 8. And we want to know if that equals negative 5. When we combine these, we end up with negative 19, which is not equal to negative 5. We don't even have to check the second equation. Because if it doesn't work in one, we say that it is not a solution. For part C, let's check and see if negative 3, negative 4 is a solution. We're going to plug negative 3, negative 4 into the first equation first. So we get 3 times negative 3 minus negative 4. We want to know if that equals negative 5. This ends up being negative 9, and the double negative makes a positive 4. And when we combine those, we get negative 5 equaling negative 5. This first equation worked fine. Let's check the second equation. Our y is negative 4. We want to know if that equals 2 thirds times the x, which is negative 3, minus 2. When we multiply these here, we get negative 2 minus 2 on that right-hand side. And when we combine those, we get negative 4 equals negative 4. So we would say, yes, this point is a solution.